Greetings guys, girls and non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well and I hope that you are fighting because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to the page on my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. Now about a week ago, I made a video that was about dress codes and how my school boycotted bras and <laughs> I was meant to read out your dress code stories and got very carried away, but a lot of you were asking me to actually go through your dress code stories and I got a lot of comments from you telling me your dress code stories. So I've compiled a few of the literal thousands and today we're going to be looking at those and discussing those stupid dress code rules and why they are stupid. My school wanted to call my parents because I was wearing pants. We use uniforms so girls have to wear skirts and boys have to wear pants. So when I came in with grey trousers that weren't even tight, they told me to wear a skirt. This was an overwhelming answer. There were so many girls saying that they got in trouble for wearing trousers instead of skirts. And that is so stupid and so strange to me because schools and the whole uniform thing, like one of the big arguments they have for it is that they're preparing you for the real world. Name a situation, name a job, right? Where you're going to get turned away or sent home because you're wearing trousers instead of a skirt. Is, is this 1923? I don't know. It feels like it. What is the explanation? What is the justification for girls not being allowed to wear trousers? Especially when it's like really cold in the winter because sometimes stockings are not that warm. Logically, what excuse could there possibly be? Why are we so attached to heteronormativity and gender roles to the point where we are telling children and teenagers that they aren't allowed to wear trousers or boys can't wear skirts? Who is that benefiting in any way? Who benefits from that? No one. The answer is no one. No one benefits from that at all. Just let people wear whatever uniform they want. The whole point of the uniform is to prepare you for the real world with dress codes or so that, you know, no one is competing with each other for clothes. It's to prevent bullying and make it more affordable for students, which is all bullshit. But if those were the real reasons, then it wouldn't matter if you're wearing a skirt or trousers. Just, it's a uniform. Let them wear whichever parts of it that they like. Yeah, if you have any explanation as to why girls can't wear trousers to school, let me know because I can't think of literally a single one. So there's another one. Girls aren't allowed to wear ties. Guys aren't allowed to wear skirts. Girls have to wear a different shirt. And as a non-binary person, it's really homophobic that you have to wear a long skirt and a heap load of layers as binders since binders are banned. Which is like, just again, why does it matter? Why are we forcing gender roles on students? Like it's so backwards because it literally does not matter once you leave school. Why are schools all about making students conform and wanting everyone to go into sort of the same area? They're very like, uh, uh, uh. everyone has to follow this exact path and go into these businessy areas where there are very strict dress codes. But like, that's not how life works. You know, like schools are like, yes, we are going to teach them all to go be accountants. The world would be so boring if everyone was an accountant. Can we just let people do what they want and express themselves how they want? Like, what is the deal with this? We all benefit from creative industries. We all benefit from hospitality and retail. We all benefit from expressive industries and even in not expressive, not creative industries, like even in office jobs. There is still way more freedom in clothing choices than most schools with uniforms have. Like so much more. Like I said in my last video, my mom works as a business manager in a government department and she has piercings and purple hair and she wears literally the most colorful clothes with very short skirts and it's fine. Where, it... <laughs> just stop trying to make young people conform to this idea that we all have to be the same and uniform. We all have to be robots who follow the exact same path. The world would be very, very bleak and it's not how it works. It's just not how it works. Let people wear what they want. Even if you have a uniform, which I think is dumb, but if you have a uniform, why are we restricting it based on 
the genitals a student has. I feel like it's real weird. Why do you, why do you care? One time a male teacher went around to all the girls at school that had jackets on and asked them to unzip their jackets to make sure that they had shirts on underneath. I don't understand why he felt the need to do that. No girls were Fucking what? Huh? I, <laughs> I, I genuinely do not even know where to begin with that. Oh my good Lord. So, um, male teacher asking young underage girls to unzip their jackets to prove to them they, they were wearing shirts. So that means he was suspecting that these young girls weren't wearing shirts and he needed them to prove it. He needed, he, he, surely if he was suspecting that these girls weren't wearing jackets, that would be the reason to not ask them to unzip their jackets, right? Surely if you think that an underage girl at a school that you work at is not wearing a shirt, you would ask her to not unzip her jacket. You would tell her to keep her jacket zipped up. He's literally just asking young girls to flash him. That's literally what he's asking them to do. Hello, underage girl. I think that you aren't wearing a shirt. Show me. Fucking what? <laughs> uh, jail. I do genuinely, sincerely hope that man is in jail. Or at least as far away from a school and children as he can possibly be. Because what the fuck? This one's very long. You can pause it if you want to read the whole thing. But in short, this person's school did not like the ripped jeans trend. And if you came to school with ripped jeans, the staff members would put duct tape over the, the holes in the jeans. This is worse than telling them to change. Because what? What duct tape? Do you know how heavy duty duct tape is? You can fix anything with duct tape. Like that shit would hurt to pull off your leg skin. Like that would rip off your skin. I'm allergic to adhesives. Like I've used like muscle tape and had hives and like a bad allergic reaction to it. Imagine if someone put duct tape on my leg. I think my leg, my, my leg might fall off. That's a slight exaggeration, but also like, I don't know. That would cause severe irritation on your skin and just hurt to pull off. And also, why? What the fuck? My school had that rule as well. It was like one of the only dress codes we had was you weren't allowed to wear ripped jeans because it's like unprofessional. No one ever followed through with it. I always wore ripped jeans, but you weren't meant to. And I think that that is so, awful like it's unprofessional but that's also a pretty it's a pretty classist stance that because you know not everyone can afford to wear new jeans some people have to wear the same pair of jeans and wear them all the way through because they don't have an option and you're gonna deny them their education because they have ripped jeans it's also so stupid because these people can wear them outside of school i don't know i just think dress codes are so dumb i just think they're so stupid like i think sometimes the ripped jeans thing do come down to like it's distracting it's too much skin because i mean yeah actually yeah in this case that must be what it is because they're putting duct tape over it so it definitely comes down to a showing too much skin thing and it's distracting and it's provocative but like just like with the shoulders, like me showing my shoulders is somehow distracting the male students and faculty, which is fucked up on its own. But like a square of your thigh, like this, this much of your th just thigh skin. Can we just stop, stop uh, telling people that, you know, our skin is somehow sexual? It's skin, it's skin. Stop enforcing the idea that it's okay to stare at girls' bodies and be distracted by them and using it as an excuse. Stop punishing girls for what they're wearing. Start telling boys to not stare at girls. It's a really simple thing to do. It's a really simple thing to do. My non-binary friend was told they couldn't wear eyeshadow to picture day because you're a boy. They did it anyways and totally flicked off the camera. Well, it's cool that they did it anyway. Props to them, that's amazing. I love breaking the rules with shit like that is great. But like, firstly, invalidating their gender. Don't do that. Just respect your students' gender and pronouns. It's really not that difficult. And also like, why does it matter? If girls can wear rainbow makeup to school, why can't, boys and non-binary people like 
But who is benefiting from this made up idea, these made up roles of this is what you can and cannot do because of the genitals you were born with? Like, it's so stupid. It doesn't benefit anyone. And again, once they leave school, they're gonna do it in the real world. They're gonna do it. Why are you in the six hours a day trying to just squeeze all the individuality and life out of these young people? Why are we trying to make them to conform to these made up bullshit rules that are outdated? Let people express themselves. The world would be so bleak if we were all the same. Why are we trying to make everyone the same? Please stop it. <laughs> the school I went to that had like no dress code and we had very open, relaxed learning where it was all discussion and like I barely have any notes from my time at school because all the learning was talking and asking questions and discussing things and doing things hands on. And we got some of the best grades in the country. So it's not even about like you get better results by all sitting in silence doing your work with your head down and wearing the same clothes and conforming to this really strict thing. It, it's it's not even effective. It's just about controlling people. It doesn't have any benefits at all. It's so old fashioned and it really needs reevaluating, especially in the States. You, multiple choice. This is so off topic, but what? Why? In what was? <laughs> oh, there's so many things wrong with the school system and the way that exams work. I could go on for days. It's not what we're talking about here, but what the fuck? The whole school system is outdated and it needs to be reevaluated and looked at and updated because my dear Lord, I'm a bi woman with ADHD. Somehow my female classmates didn't distract me or cause a problem and I could get my work done. Literally, exactly, exactly. The whole excuse of like, you're distracting the male student. Like, I like girls too. And I don't care if I can see their shoulders or their thighs or I, I can keep my head down and do my work and not sexualize people. It's not that difficult to not just stare at people or sexualize or objectify them. And so this whole thing literally all just exists to excuse boys' behavior and punish girls. It's just setting it up for that, to tell women that we have to compromise for men always. We have to change ourselves to please and benefit men, that they are more important than us and we have to do what we can to make sure that they're better, even if it makes us miserable and uncomfortable. As long as they're good, as long as they're fine, our discomfort is fine, their discomfort is not. And we are taught that from such a young age and it's so fucked up. It's not that hard to focus on yourself and to just keep your head down and do what you have to do. Just do your own thing, shut up. I'm really good at uh, debates. I just tell everyone to shut up. I think it's really good. It's really helpful. It's definitely an effective method. <laughs> I mean, Biden did it, so. <laughs> it's not exactly my role model, but I think I'm gonna end it there. Keep your eyes to yourself. Stop sexualizing people. Stop policing people's bodies. Express yourselves and embrace individualism because the world would be so boring without it. We need creative people. We need people in hospitality. We need people in all industries. Without it, everything would collapse. Imagine life without creativity. And you know, just imagine life without my hair. It would just not be worth living. <laughs> thank you so much for coming along. A massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit channel members whose names are all up on the screen right now. I appreciate and love you endlessly. Thank you. And a big thank you to my channel member of the day, Wolf. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate you to the ends of the earth. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the blue button or the top link in the description and you get 10% off my shop and my videos a day early, so. <laughs> Before you leave, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe. I'd love to see you. I'm here every three days so you get more content from me and I'm pretty cool. And you're pretty cool, so we can be cool together. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. And when you close your eyes, you replace